April has been a very busy month in terms of releases, new features, and things coming out of beta, so let's take a look at what's happened. The much anticipated Bun version 1.1 was released, which comes with Windows support for those on Windows, finally something for you, and a lot of other bug fixes, and improved support for Node.js and Next.js. Shad CNUI added lift mode for blocks, which basically just means you can now grab any of these components and easily plug them into your website. Two minor versions, 5.12 followed by 5.13 were released this month for Prisma ORM. Some of the major things including support for Cloudflare D1, create many for SQLite, and being able to omit options from the Prisma client queries. Speaking of Cloudflare, they had their developer week this month where they announced quite a few things, so let's go over some of the major ones. They now support Python with Cloudflare workers, so if Python is your thing, this is great news. Workers now also support rolling deploys, meaning that you can gradually deploy things to production to protect yourself from a potential bad deploy. You can now also do rate limiting at runtime and the code through bindings. Pages also got a lot better with support for mono repos, ability to set up your project configurations through a wrangler.toml file just like you can for workers, added ability to easily integrate your project with a database using services like Terso and Supabase, and they also improved Next.js support for those interested in that. A very serious Linux backdoor was discovered which people actually thought was an April Fool's joke but turned out to be very serious. I'll leave a video on the topic in the description. There was there's also a lot of discussion around the new Drizzle ORM feature that lets you convert a Drizzle schema into a GraphQL schema. Meta launched a new Llama 3 LLM model, which now from the looks of it is extremely capable. So definitely check that out if you're interested in the AI space. Terso came out with a pretty generous hobby plan that includes things like audit logs, database never sleeping or scaling to zero, and backups for the previous 10 days. React 19 beta is finally out, which brings a lot of major changes to React, and by the time this video comes out, I should have a video out covering the changes in more detail, so look out for that. Superbase is also now generally available, and as surprising as that may sound to some people, since a lot of people have been using it in production already, it's now finally out of beta, and the announcement came with some new features as well. So they now let you sign in people anonymously and later convert them to proper users if needed. Storage now supports the S3 protocol, and the studio now also has built-in security and performance advisors to help suggest some improvements. Node.js version 22 is now out with some improvements, things like updating the V8 engine to 12.4, adding a WebSocket client, and a few other things. Clerk Core 2 is now also out of beta, which comes with improved UI, a new default middleware for Next.js, which a lot of people are hyped about, and other improvements as well. And Vercel gave up on edge rendering and switched back to Node.js. But yeah, I think that about sums up the month for me. If there's things you'd like to see in the May update video, let me know. Links for everything in the description, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and yeah, until the next video.